Welcome to the Greeting Mashiach podcast. As of when this podcast happened, recently there's a lot of protests going on around college campuses about the Matzah of Eretz Yisrael and Aldi and Shirav Yeshua. But one of the, a very interesting thing, certainly as Lubavitchers, is uh, it was a video about in UCLA and there was a Mashiach flag. It was the anti protesters, anti the Palestinian pro-Palestinian protesters, there came people who are pro-Israel against the Palestinian protesters. And from these people were waving a Mashiach flag. And uh, the news broadcaster was wondering, he says, I've never seen that flag before. I don't know what that flag is. Then they got a view of it. He's like, oh, Mashiach, is this going to be a thing now? He says, oh, what's this flag? Um, so I figured, actually Levy figured, Let's talk about the Mashiach flag. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it indeed. So, um, yeah, what are your impressions of the Mashiach flag? Okay. So, from the beginning, like from when I identified with Mashiach and all that stuff, um, like as a Mashiachist, as someone who says Ichi and stuff, there was, I had, I had a... That's another topic. What is... Mishichist mean we, apparently the definition has morphed over the years from right. meaning uh, people who, who are crazy about Mashiach and specifically Chachanit. Now apparently in some places just anybody who thinks that as Mashiach is already a Mishichist. I guess yeah, that, that's you're, right. already, you're already a crazy Mishichist. There Mishichist. you go, there you go. And then you say Yichi, it's like whoa. Next so level. your mom is your next level. And if you want to build an army, oh, ooh, that's not in, that's next level stuff. Right. That's that's not even in the realm of anti Mishichist. <laughs> Anyways. No, so 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 there there was we had a shliach, who who like who, the, he, when he saw someone was waving a mashiach flag and he like, he was so angry. It was so weird, like his anger. Like and he was like, take the ISIS flag away. I was like, <laughs> ISIS flag, like, like a terror, like 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 a terrorist organization. But like I was like, what are you talking about? Like, look at the flag. It's it's a crown. It says it's mashiach. mashiach flag. It's a mashiach flag. Like, what, what's your problem? Okay, and and then as 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 I got more um, educated, more, correct, more educated in what what the, what the finer the nuances, are, correct, the going on in in, in Lubavitch and specifically in Kranites and and in Eretz Yisrael, this guy happened to be from Eretz Yisrael. Yeah, fine. The Mashiach flag was identified towards the group, which was more, um, right, the guys that dug the tunnels, right. They're more in uh, nature of uh, of. Of using correct, more fanatical using and their the hands. Of, unfortunately. Correct, unfortunately, very unfortunate. But, but from the beginning, it was always like, "What do you mean? This is Mashiach. This is the Mashiach flag." And then, and and it's a shame. It's like it's, 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 it's <laughs> correct, it's correct. It's a shame. It's it, it was appropriated. I think. I think. I think originally it's beautiful, and it was appropriated to be. And I think not not so much appropriated, but more. It was used as a designation of this is the the weird, um, fanatical using their hands type of people when you wave this flag. So uh, it was all weird. And then what happened was, I think I felt a little vindicated when all of a sudden there it's Israel right in the the, the, the the after October seventh the whole thing that all of us over social media there were these soldiers that were wearing these Mashiach patches. Mashiach patches, yeah. Which is basically Mashiach like in a patch. And and that was my whole thing. My whole thing was, what, what do you mean? This is Mash- this is the Mashiach flag. When you want to wave the banner of Mashiach, this is the flag. This is the thing that you use. It's like, of course. And and then and then I saw a video of this of this lady, of this lady dancing. Yeah, <laughs> with the Mashiach flag. Probably was your mother. Was <laughs> Correct. With the Mashiach flag, right? Dancing with the Mashiach. It's like, of course, like. It, it it was it was for me it was so obvious like this is this is a correct it's a good thing correct it it it's it, it's it, a yeah. yeah it's a good thing in the sense of real it makes a lot of sense having a Mashiach flag is a good thing correct correct the concept of having right this specific one because it was eh, fine you know, we'll have conversations about that but I think the concept is a beautiful concept and it makes so much sense it's practical the same reason why I think the Armon is a practical thing. Obviously, Sheikh is a king. He's gonna need a palace. Obviously, if Sheikh is a king and he's gonna be and he's gonna be, gonna be a kingdom, right? We're gonna be under the sovereignty of Melech Mashiach. So there's gonna be a need to be a flag that can identify a person that is waving the, that is riding under the banner of Mashiach. It's like the other question is right. 
in reality, when the Rebbe will, will reign as King Mashiach, will he use this flag? <laughs> It's a good question. That's the money question. Right, right. There's a flag that exists. I think that'll be the real test of... Uh, yeah. Was it, was it, is, it, is it really Mashiach's flag? Like? time, yeah. That'll be more the test of whatever it is. Be the ultimate test. Right. It'll be the ultimate deciding factor of it. Right. Is it, is it just a bunch of cultists who took a flag and then decided to go crazy over it and then doesn't have any real meaning? It's not necessarily a good thing? Or no, this is indeed Mashiach... Right. If it is, it is indeed Mashiach's flag... Right, so the que- the question, right, the question is, when did it start? And like, what was before it? So, as I understand the flag, uh, and I've heard some people say that they wish the flag was around, you know, before Chav Zayna there the second time. Right, to see if it would be, and, you know, whether they could, uh, never would see it, and uh, before Gamal Tam was there, never would see see the flag. And then it would be official, like like the rest of the things that uh, you know the Hiamakas, for instance, or something that uh, they had with the Rebbe. And it, I don't know if it's a you know it's more of a Hegrish thing, but if if in front of the Rebbe kids will Yichiamakas or whatever whatever it is, or like the signs that were there that the Rebbe saw, so it's sanctioned, sanctioned, it's canon, it's right. uh, it's official. Um, people will say this is a good thing. We're, we're keeping it. They have footing to stand on. Uh, whereas the things that came afterwards, um, you have to explain why they should be here. Uh, maybe yes, maybe not. Is it based on something? Is there a reason? Because otherwise, in will ever safe, which un- unfortunately we see a lot by a lot of the things that the so-called Tzfatim or Rishon Otsiyan, Ashlatim, um, there's a certain air of uh, people who are trying to do the right thing. They're inspired about Mashiach and all this. This is... But aside for actually personally deeply caring about it, it's also the culture. Right. Which, on one hand, is amazing. It's fantastic. That's the best thing. That this, Mashiach is the culture. That's that's kind of what we want. That's what we're going for. Right. But it comes along with, you know, it would, imperfect people make a culture. It comes along with things that a culture comes along with. And it becomes a little bit of a cult-like situation, especially since, unfortunately, it is not uh, so much the prevailing culture by, by everybody, only by some people. So it becomes a show of loyalty that I, I belong to the party. I I really care. Mm-hmm. So you start all these random things that people get inspired to do, but they don't really have any explanation why necessarily it has yeah. to happen this way or doing. But because people are doing it, a couple guys decided. Right. So if I don't do it, I'm I'm missing out. I I don't care. Of course, I care about Mashiach. I care about whatever it is. I'm I'm gonna go do it. So. Why Dafka this, not that? No, whatever, I was like. And, and then people pretend like there's deep significance to the thing itself when maybe it's a good thing, but there's no deep significance to uh it's like a difference between gay shigam tevim and how the leader shigam tevim. On, on a Jewish any Jewish day, there's deep significance to that day. They have a start to if I bring and discussing the deep significance of of, of the day. Uh, why this day is special and the scum you only know scum and nasty they they read they, she is Mitzrayim. You leave Mitzrayim. Mashiach, so the, the, the gili of Mashiach. It's not a, we're not just picking around the day. Whereas things that are not Jewish, they don't, generally speaking, have any real significance. We just make it up. <laughs> we pick it. We pick the. It could be a, pick, pick a day. Thanksgiving. We never spoke about it. It's a good thing. Um, uh, I'm not talking about Vietnam. Should celebrate <laughs> it, but uh, shortly for the guy, the was talking. It's a very, it's a very good thing. The date to thank the Abish to give thing Thanksgiving. They have a called uh, the Yom Tov. They was lost in the W. There's anything significant about the day of Thanksgiving, whatever, whatever Thursday, and then whatever it is. The first day, first Thursday of February, last Thursday, one of the Thursdays, <laughs> a Thursday in the year. <laughs> um, right. There's, there's no a... real thing, even though the Indian is taka a good thing. There's still no significance to it. Significant because whatever day we pick, we're celebrating it. Uh, when it comes to Jew- Jewish thing, there's actual significance. So. You you have to the same thing when it comes to uh, the it, it's important to even if you are going to do things it's important mechalik. What's actually legit and what's not legit? I have a friend who's a bit of an interesting character, and he asked me what's how do we know that I was still the Nazi? It's a good question. <laughs> So there's a lot of things that come together that make me think that that the Rebbe is still the Nazi. And between all of them, it is abundantly clear, obviously starting with Bas Lagani. 
the Rebbe says that uh, this is the last dirt, and it's our job to bring the gula. And all the Lashenis, the Rebbe says all the years of, uh, the, or particularly at the end, I guess, uh, for sure the Rebbe said it, that this is the last dirt of Golos and the first dirt of gula. Um, and then you yeah, have the, the Rebbe comes and he says that he's um, that, that it was effective, and we have the Golos of Mashiach, and then the Sheikh, we have, we have the Pulase of Malach Mashiach al Amim. You get a full picture of the whole story. It's 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 very clear to everybody that Derishvi is it. But he wanted to know a lot of things that for each one individually, maybe you could explain away. What is which what one is, is the clincher? Yeah. Which yeah, this sikha tells me that's for sure. <clears throat> right. What's the one? You know, um, and the was really clear from Baslogani, if we're being honest. That's the right. one, Baslogani. They made it clear that this is it. Right. And, and the way the could fear that he did. That he, and everything else is bolstering that original point that you see Taka that right. was taking it seriously. Right. But, uh, yeah. Boils down to that. Boils down to that, at least in my opinion. Baslogani. I heard just recently talking to someone, not a little bit sure. You were there. <laughs> yeah. And he tells me, uh, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Seven generations of Chabad. No problem. That is the last day of Chabad. Maybe not the Papa Rebbe is the Neshama Rishi Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but that's not a mensch. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, what's the point? The point is, the things have to have a basis. So some things, yeah. The Sikha says, Kach Vakach, and therefore, we as Chidim, we, 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 Rebbe says something that's the, literally the word of God. Almighty, then this is what it is. And this is, so, there's no secret that says you have to wear, wear Mashiach fit or wave the Mashiach flag. It doesn't exist. So it's obviously in the category of things that are right. potentially a good thing. And what a lot of people don't like is that it has become a cult-like thing. You, you, mm. If you're part of the party, right, you, have to you wear must wear a deglon, you have to wear a pin. And not only that, they put a pin on their hat, which is entirely not a normal thing that anybody does. They say, what do you mean? See, we're talking about Mashiach. It's a good thing. <laughs> we, but the yeah, problem but is, yeah, I, you know, they're safe. And then attack it. Some people take it too far. Put on your you them blazing the Mashiach flag everywhere. I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing <laughs> for, for, for some people. <laughs> it works. Um, like the Rebbe says, you say, uh, first thing, you say, you say, you want Mashiach, we want Mashiach now. Mashiach now. You see a normal person, everything he does is normal, and yet the first thing he doesn't say hello, ha, Sheikh now, that, that leaves an impression on someone. So if you have someone, maybe for some people they can hack this. Uh, uh, thing, yeah. But clearly a big part of it is just the culture. That we're um, belong to the party and we, we wear Mashiach, and they, they attribute it as if it's something that the Rebbe says in the Sikha, as if it's actually important. And that's where it veers off the rails. Ah, they 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 spend a lot of time focusing on the flag and the you know, the degel, but they don't. It's not. It's not the focus. It's not the the focus isn't the flag. Right. The focus is Mashiach. If the flag is there helping Mashiach, then it's a good thing. Right. right, right. If it comes about the flag, you're a little bit missed missed the point, and uh, you have the you know the dancing every night in seven seventy. It's beautiful. They, they were made dancing in the bays, and then the. We asked the Rebbe if they should continue doing it. The Rebbe said it should be a pool in Shechas. Certainly, as a Zach, dancing, it's a good Zach. Simcha Batar also. Yeah. But, but you go there sometimes, there's he's dancing, and it's like, hmm, there's not so many people. A lot of people, unfortunately, think it's a bit of a joke. And it's hard to blame them because, separate conversation, yeah. Um, let's say you have 30 guys dancing, and like 14 of them have flags, and they're, they're not dancing, they're busy. <laughs> right. Waving. Holding the fort, they're waving the flag. You know, the guy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> there doesn't need to be 14 flags and y'all holding the fort. Like, what do you, what are you here to prove? What are you, they're all, they're all like, they're, they're to prove it. Like, like, yeah, we're waving the flag. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? <laughs> and then they have bigger ones and, and then massive ones and we're gonna make it so big. And it's like, right, right. And, and because of all these things, which, Again, they're not bad, essentially. They're just... No point. <laughs> right, right. Um, there'd be a point if, it, if, if it's productive, there's a point. But there's no essential point to them. Um, so people see all that. And who are these people? Often, 
some of these people are from amongst these people are people who are unfortunately too radical and they uh, resort to uh, people need some help when they were using their hands unfortunately etc uh, people say okay this is not a this is not a normal thing this is not an, uh, this is just this is just crazy I don't want to be associated with that but uh, people have a bias I think that people who like you were saying before you became you you're now when you became in the know before you were, you were more innocent what do you mean some shift like yeah uh, I think that's, that's a very important thing for us to remember. Not just about this, but I'm sure in, in general. Well, often we're scared we're being molested with someone. Uh, I would say most of the time it's not true. <laughs> it's just not true. Right. <clears throat> we have certain preconceived notions that uh-huh. it's monastic us. We feel awkward. We think that it's monastic. But on the ground, the people who are uninitiated, they, they don't know about any of this internal politics about the, whole, about the flag. A lot of things I said I think resonates with a lot of people. I don't know if they necessarily thought about it, but that that's what irks them about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You think a guy in the street knows about this? Right, right. So, so like... You see on the news that, broadcast. Right, in that video, a news, bro- news broadcaster. But, like, if you want to explain to him the flag, it's like, it's not like a whole bad thing. Yeah, you can explain to him. This is a flag yeah. from Mashiach. Yeah, yeah. The Jews are excited and we have the Messiah is coming, taking it to redeem us. And this is the flag we wave. Beautiful. Just don't, Taka, Taka, a lot of just don't mention the tunnel. <laughs> Not talking a lot of Israelis. That's what they do. They, and a lot of it's back in Israel. I, I, I've never been to Israel. Well. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, it could be a lot. As I understand, a lot, a lot of Israelis there. You're right. It's, it's a good like you're saying. All the soldiers. Mashiach. Yeah, it's a good it's, thing. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, all these biases are a lot. Often, I mean, some maybe, yeah. But a lot, you have to always ask yourself, someone on the outside, do some research, talk to someone, see what they say. Go on with time. Say he with someone. See, see if it's explained to them. See if it sounds so crazy. I think you'll be surprised. Try it out. That's right. I've, uh, yeah, many, I've, I've gone with time, obviously, uh, every, every Friday all the time. I've gone to America uh, My overwhelming 99.9% of the time, unless somebody is already initiated and has the opinion on the matter, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're the rabbi and you're telling him the story, you have no problem with, with Rebbe, Mashiach, Yechi, the Rebbe is the Mashiach of our generation, sure, and therefore he's the, he's the, he's the Mashiach of sure. our generation. The Rebbe told us we're ready for the Gerula, <clears throat> he was ready to redeem us, the king, people, the people, let's say, long live the king. This is all very normal things. Long live the king, sure. Like, what? <laughs> right. It, 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 it makes a lot of sense. It isn't crazy. To someone uninitiated, you have to put yourself in their mind space. It's a very normal thing. And similarly with the flag, it's not such a crazy thing. This is a flag from Malachi Mashiach. It's right. beautiful. Question is: Is it already is it already too uh, too much team yellow yeah, to, to yeah, become yeah. a flag from Mashiach? I don't know. That that's an interesting question. But certainly now there seems to be a, a resurgence of it. Um, we should definitely take when things like this happen. We need to take this opportunity. Pratis. Someone's asking, "What's this flag?" Let's tell them. Right. This is a flag from Mashiach. Certainly, Explain it to them. When the opportunity presents us, let's not hide behind right. it. And get scared by it. Let's let's talk good. Let's if you have opportunity to talk uh, correctly and good about Mashiach and all these things. And what such a thing is literally in the news. And Mashiach yeah, flag yeah. is in the news. That's amazing. That Rebbe always told us: look for signs, look look for miracles happening. Look for look for. We have to put on our Mashiach glass. Uf and deegin. I know a lot of people had a similar. Not a lot of people. There were those people that had similar uh, <coughs> thoughts about the the tunnels. That right. was, like when it came out, it's like, what do you mean? That now now is an opportunity to talk about. Se- Everybody's asking about seven seven. Right. Talk about seven seven instead of a com- a compulsive need to, to defend to how defend. how they're all crazy <clears throat> and 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 Meshuggah and we 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 don't believe in it. Distance themselves. Just talk. Just ignore it. Talk about seven seventy. What is seven seventy? You could also say that there's a, <clears throat> doesn't have to mean you have to align yourself with people who are on correct. But correct. take the opportunity in uh, right. Talk about right. I'm sure a lot of the newscasters weren't trying to bring an angle of like, oh, like what are they doing and what are you doing, like and like trying to lump you in together. No, they're just wondering what's going on. So explain to them what's going on. What's going on is that there's this building 770 that Eva asked to build, to, and they they decided to do it. Obviously, and and you can bring a caveat like like we brought a few times that it, it's not done in the right way. You have to do it with the proper channels. But nevertheless, th- right. It should have been more that the, 
everyone, we're, we're all on team. Let's build Correct. seven. We're all, let's Correct. expand seven seventy. We're all on team. We're all we're all, we're all on team Mashiach. More we're or all... less, more united. We're all together on this. Yeah, there's some some students who uh, went too far. They didn't ask mission. They were overzealous. Right. The vert is right. It's it's a more much more, and it's the truth. It's not a lie. It's the truth. We might get caught between our own personal be, politics. Right. No, but. Indeed, we all want to right, expand right, right, right. Correct, Yeah, correct. There's yeah. an agreement. You want to expand more Yechi signs or you want to expand the nice shul? Okay, fine. These are, these are technical. Right. But everyone. At the end of the day, the 770. Sure right. we, we want to expand 770. This is a more. We need to. We just. We get stuck in our own headspace and mm-hmm. our internal things that we, we, we can't see it from somebody else's perspective. Right. And it's important sometimes. You got to get it out of your own head. You, you, you got to see it from someone else. And if you can't do that, then go talk with someone. Right. The next person you meet him and say, talk to him. <laughs> See Ask. what happens. Right. It's taka interesting because a lot of people, they have a hang up of like, it's weird. Like, what are you going to a person talking about Messiah and to accept him and the king and revelation? It's feeling very normal. Right, right, right. That's, what, that's what I was that was answering. And and what? And going over to them and telling about Tfilin and tying this together to connect yourself to God. It's like, really? That That is normal? And that... Right, the reason why it's normal is because everybody's doing it. It's something that we've been doing for so long. Something that is accepted by us. So we're good with it. But this, that is not necessarily accepted by us, that's why it's not okay with it. And I, it's it's interesting point that you're, that you're bringing that I've never thought of is that, wait, no. I was saying that what the way you're bringing it is is right tefillin is as crazy as mashiach but you're saying is that no for the person tefillin is as crazy as mashiach in the sense of like just like they accepted tefillin they'll accept mashiach it's very simple by them it's not like complicated it's not, it's not, i saw it's, it's not crazy it's not crazy right if anything it makes more sense correct if you say king messiah it's not crazy i uh there was a living torah before pesach and uh, it was about selling the selling the chametz. It was campaign. People should all oh, even should sell their chametz. And they said very interesting. There was somebody who had uh, some sort of column or something in the, he had a weekly column or whatever it was, weekly, monthly, in some uh, newspaper, a circle Jewish newspaper. And he wanted to write a write up about selling the chametz. He gave it to the Rebbe, and he gave there explaining why you have to sell the chametz and then, you know, the importance of it and how you do it. With a form on, uh, to, to, you know, to give the power of attorney to sell the comments. And they have nixed the whole thing. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no explanations. We don't have fancy things over here. I'm going to say the following. Sell your <laughs> You have to sell your comments before Pesach. This is how you sell the comments, and here's the form. That's what it's going to say. Uh-huh. Once you give explanations, you make things overly complicated. Right. Ah, uh, people, people don't. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm gonna I'll take care of my commentary. I, I, I'll... You're Jewish. You put on tefillin. That's how it works. You're Jewish. That's so interesting. You need to sell your chametz, says the Rebbe. Sell your chametz. You don't have to complicate. Don't stick with me. You sell your chametz, crazy thing. Sell my chametz. I don't talk. I'm selling all of. What do you? What do you? Sell, like, crazy thing. What's that? Sell your chametz. Sell your chametz. That one is the wrong chametz. Sell your chametz. Sell. That's, that's wild. That was a bit metaphoric to sell your own personal chametz. But, uh, you want to with someone? That is Mashiach. Sure. He's taking his out of Gala. Say Yechi. Long live King Mashiach. It ain't so scary. Stop making it overly complicated. It's, it's simple. We're Jewish. We have a Mashiach. We have a Nazi. He tells us how it is. Wow. This is a Mashiach leg. Not so complicated. <laughs> so hopefully we will we'll transform it. Amen, amen, yeah. And we'll very soon wave this flag. We'll wave a Mashiach flag. The, the, the Mashiach. flag of Mashiach. Correct, correct. The flag of Mashiach. Degel Machen and Mashiach. Yeah, yeah. We will, we will all be riding under the banner of Mashiach. May it be uh, speedily Take in our days. Amen, amen. Mamish. We want... Mashiach now. Yad Kedikach Amedav Golhov Mader Am Zol Machi Zayn Yeshi HaMelech Yai 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 Yai